it's your girl Skyly and not long ago I was in my small town in Oklahoma dreaming about sharing my talent with the world and now here I am in LA I used to have one closet with all my clothes in it. Now, I have my own personal wardrobe. I used to practice my songs in front of my little laptop camera. Now I have cameras pointed at me at all times. How are we doing on that focus issue, Mike? My name's not Mike. Oh, just make sure you're getting my good side. School here is a whole lot easier. I didn't even do this. Someone in props did but I'm giving myself an A+. Plus. We don't even have a coffee shop in my hometown. Now I get all the free coffee I want. Can I have a tall macchiato? There you go. There's nothing in this. This isn't a real coffee shop. It's a set. Oh, well, can you go get me some coffee then? I'm an actor. Oops. All this is to say is I'm settling into the big city life real well. Skyly, you're needed on set. I thought I was finished filming. You did one scene, still got five more. This is a lot harder than I thought. Can I have a coffee? This is empty again. <laughs> It's Indiana Massar, and we have a really cool show planned for you guys today. I know a lot of you have been wondering about the newest member of the Bright Universe, Skylie Thompson, winner of the talent show. I can't wait to introduce you guys to this cool country girl, so let's get into this week's episode. So we are here with the newest member of the Brat family, Skylie Thompson and Bryce Xavier. So we're gonna test your knowledge on the Brat universe and see if the newest member to the Brat fam knows more than a Brat vet. You ready? I didn't know there was gonna be a test. <laughs> well, there is one. <laughs> All I know is he's going down. First question. Oh God. Oh my God, anxiety. In Total Eclipse, Diana steals a test and puts it in whose backpack? Mine, Scott, God, Scott, God. mine, Scott, mine. God. <laughs> okay, you got that boy, you got that. Okay, next question. Oh. And Dirt Sabrina is working hard to follow her dream of a. Oh, you got yeah. it. Yeah, Go being like going to the dance academy, being a dancer. Oh yeah, she got it. <laughs> so just like Sabrina is trying to follow her dreams by being in the dance academy, what's it like winning the talent show and being a part of the Bright Universe now? It's so crazy. Like it's literally a dream come true. Like this has been what I've been wanting to do, and watching it on my phone, and now I'm here in the Brat Studios is just so cool. Yeah, it's pretty dope in here, actually. Yeah, and I get to meet like my favorite people on this <laughs> planet. It's so great. Aww. <laughs> okay, next question. In Manny. Sky had to find a new best friend because she thinks Harmony left without her. Who did she become friends with? A, Tall Tina. B, Goth Girl. C, Marching Band Margaret. Goth Girl. Yeah, good job. Yeah, you're correct. Woo! You guys get ready for buzzers. Ready? Three, two. Whose ship name is Gen Z? Oh, 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 it's <laughs> Okay, it's Johnny and Kenzie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Great, that was... We stand. Yes, <laughs> yes, Skyly. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, next question. <laughs> oh, Skyly, you have a Millwood kid here and you also have an Attaway kid here. If you had to pick which school to go to, which would it be? Keep in mind, I decide who wins. That this. is a very <laughs> hard. <laughs> that is a very hard question. No, it's really I'm not. Really, it no, it's not. There's really no, it's only not. one right answer. Listen, in Attaway, there has been some crazy stuff go down in that town. Okay, like, talk about Attaway. What about Millwood? Millwood, they have dirt bikes. So, okay, are, are you thinking? Dirt bikes. Is that the only thing we offer? <laughs> dirt bikes. Oh, so you're a Millwood girl. Huh? I think it's both super interesting. So which one? Like, you gotta pick. You got five seconds. You gotta pick. <laughs> five, five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Report. Honestly, Report they're both definitely. so great because you got Chicken Girls, who's like like the so show I started watching on Brat, and then you got a village that has fine. Dirt and Total Clips, who are like one of my favorite. Both of them are one of my favorite shows ever. 
on Brat. Chicken Girls is good too, but I'm saying. <laughs> chicken like, Girls is good too. She goes, Chicken Girls good too. <laughs> because okay. it's like, Don't you own chickens? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll we'll discuss this later. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah. This is gonna really Pretty test big. you. This is really gonna test you. Who are the original chicken girls? Oh hey, Scott. god. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, and go. she did it anyway. No. Uh... No. no. Okay, so we have Rhyme, Quinn, and Ellie. That's right. Was I right? It's Rhyme, Ellie, and Quinn, and Kayla joined yeah, later. Kayla yeah, Kayla joined in on the first day of school. You are correct. So Skyly won. Come on, Brad. Yeah. She gotta pick it up. Yay! <laughs> Good job. So that is all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. We will see you guys next week. Bye. I can't believe all of the drama this week on Brad. When a mono outbreak hits Attaway, Ryan gets thrust into the spotlight. Looks like Ryan's going to be playing the role of Juliet. Luckily, her rodeo is there for moral support. Swoon. Speaking of swooning, Robbie is being an amazing nurse for poor Ellie. Aww. Kayla was also taking on the role of the nurse, maybe a little too seriously. But it looks like Rooney might be having the worst day of all. She found out her boyfriend's become pretty chummy with her sister. Yikes. Just wait until she sees Birdie's new tattoo. On Manny, the gang is back, and things are already getting wacky. After Manny and Randy are disqualified from the Japanese rap competition, they recruit Manny's class to join in the fun and win them $50,000. But since our girl Harmony is already a big star, he'll need to think of a way to get Harmony in the competition. Is that a disguise I see? On Total Eclipse, Diana has to pay for the whole framing Scott incident. And Kate is getting into trouble too. She goes full bad, which with Luca, helping him cast a curse on his stepmom. And things were not going so well for Cassie and Sam. She said she was fine with him missing her birthday, but I don't know if anyone believes her. At the National Honor Society banquet, Jenna is clearly out of her element. In another part of Millwood, Luke just got out of jail. Luckily for him, Daniel and Sabrina were there to bail him out. But that didn't save him from Rick's wrath. He got kicked off the team. Could Luke be spiraling out of control? At the tracks, Celeste and Autumn have some quality bonding time when Celeste teaches Autumn how to ride. Celeste's mom left town and gave Celeste a note telling her the truth about Rick. But while one family is parting ways, another is coming back together. Chloe's back from foster care. And Sabrina gets some good news too. Her teacher has submitted her for a pretty fancy dance conservatory and she and Daniel are back together. Tune in next week for the finale of Dirt. What if I told you you could fly? Would you try best to spread your wings? At least give it a try. And what if I told you not to cry? Would you try best to keep your heart from showing through your eyes? I want you to turn it. of the blue step into the open sky it's time to fly it's time to fly and what if i told you you could dream and predict all of the victories and your life to a t what if I told you you could learn About a God and all his love And all his mysteries I want you to turn it
time for you to come out of the blue Step into the open sky, it's time to fly It's time to fly I want you to fly away I want you to fly away I want you to fly away Cause I've been thinking that it's time for you to come out of the blue Step into the open sky It's time to fly